Hi, stay tuned to see how I resharpen a used rip saw. I bought this old Henry Diston rip saw from Viewer Peter, cleaned it up a bit more, straightened the saw plate, and made a new handle for it. Now it's time to resharpen it, and as you can see, the tooth line has a sigma curve to it. Not ideal. A squared block with an L shaped groove in it allows me to level the teeth whilst keeping them square to the saw plate. I use a straight edge to make sure I get the profile I want. Applying some permanent marker on the flattened tips will allow me to see when I get them back to pointed. A little telltale like this, stuck on the end of the file, will easily maintain the orientation so you get a nice 90 degree front edge to the tooth, which is what you want for a rip saw. Work backwards along the saw plate, filing between the teeth until the permanent marker on the tooth nearest the front just about disappears and then move on to the next gullet. By applying more pressure to either the back of the tooth or the front of the next tooth you can actually move the position of the teeth a little bit along the tooth line. Neighbouring teeth are flared out to opposite sides of the saw plate to avoid the saw from jamming in the work. This is done with a saw set. Start on one side of the saw plate, setting every other tooth over in the same direction. Then move around to the other side of the saw plate and work back in the other direction, setting all the alternate teeth. With the saw back in the saw vise, every tooth gets a final sharpen, this time using the file with a little less pressure to leave a smoother, less ragged edge. And it doesn't harm if you touch all the edges with a diamond stone. Flat filing would have left a lot of sharp edges on the edges of all those teeth. So just run the saw through some rough hardwood uh, to get rid of all of those. It's time for a test cut. Don't try and steer the saw, just let it go in the direction it wants to go. And if all's well, you'll get a nice straight line. If it is wandering off to one side or the other, you can just touch that one side with a diamond stone just to remove a little of the set and it should straighten it up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. Cheerio.